video today. Today we're going to be uh, doing Tidal Tempest Zones 1 through 3 in Saw TV. Last time we did Collision Chaos and uh, got the boss done. This time we're going to be uh, doing this and hoping to get the good future. I'm probably going to be taking a break of Saw Adventure DX for now because I've done a lot of recently. That was really the only let's play I was doing recently and I was kind of getting old, to be honest. I mean, I'm not going to lie to my fans. As much as I like the game, I mean, I don't like it to where I'm going to play it all the time. Either way, uh, here we are. Get some speed and stop. Well, I want it to destroy itself, but that's not happening.
Islands, but either way, here we are in a tile temple zone 2, and we are attempting to, obviously, get the uh, generator, and, uh, but it's first things first, get to the past, so, uh, let's, uh, try to find an area where we can go in the past, uh, by the way, here's, uh, some secret rings if you need it. Obviously, you're gonna wanna, if you're going to the time zones, I am not going for the time zones, and you see this, I'm getting hit by it, it doesn't do anything. Here is the perfect area to go to the past. And what do you know, there's a past sign hidden right here. So let's go to the past, guys. We're at the past. Yeah. <laughs> clap, 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 clap. But either way, here we are. In the past. Now, you'll notice that they get dirty right here. You see that? This is a pretty much, if you want to go to the future section, you can easily slip up right there and go to the future when you do not want to. So, be careful there. It's a hard section to avoid, actually. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of the past theme here. Either way, let's just search for the generator here. Let's uh, search underwater. Let's take it. Oh, right off the bat, you get our no, Sonic protector. No, actually, uh, let's uh, get some water. Actually, this may be where it is. Let me uh, try to get up there. I actually probably need to now because I'm running low on air. Actually, I am prob. I am most likely, and I'm gonna take this out area. I don't think it's worth waiting for a bubble. But considering how hard it is to get up here, I'm gonna guess that this is uh, the generator. I got it before, I just can't remember exactly where I got it, but I know I got it, so I can uh, get it. Uh, so you got some secret ring boxes along with the spring. And yes, I've been here before, so uh, nice. This is most likely gonna be where the generator is. Along with some jerkish animal enemy placement. Searching around here. Aha! There's the generator right there, and there we go. We got a good future. We got a good future in this area, guys. We got a good future in the zone. And the entire stage itself. Now we're going to be going on to the Robotnik boss. And yes, we finally get to see what a good future looks like. Woohoo! If you want to see all the good futures, I actually check, I check out uh, Kabarmai 456's LP. He just recently finished it up, actually. really suggest checking it out. And by the way, uh, if you all did not know this, this game is made by Sega on the Sega CD. Obviously. But, copyright. Man, Sega. I actually got copyright one time now. I don't get why. It's just, I've never even heard of what saying I got copyright for. But either way, here we are uh, chasing Robotnik. I don't know why I haven't called him that yet in this entire LP. Now this is pretty much the area where you're gonna smoke him. Let's look at this. There you go. And there he goes. Run like a chicken. Run like a chicken bot. Run like a It's like a I don't know. Chicken nail or something. But either way, here we are at the uh, underwater and we're about to face off against Robotnik. Or Robotnik, as I like to call it. it takes a sec to uh, do his nice little intro. And pretty much, he fills himself with bubbles. Uh, Robotnik, this is why I call him Robotnik. He's so stupid sometimes. This is actually kind of a challenging boss, even though he gives you pretty much free air. But, I mean, an underwater boss, I hate these. When you fight, I don't like underwater boss fights. It just makes me fight, oh my 
future. Now either way, that's number three, and next time on Thought CD, we are going to be tackling Quartz Quadrant. See you all then. Peace, fellow Morgans.